Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to go over log bait, uh, and this is sort of a new variation of log bait. It's only been around for like a few weeks, uh, but it's really, really solid. Uh, it actually uses the cannon, does not use a Tesla or an Inferno Tower, the two main stable buildings that you normally see when you play log bait. Uh, but actually, this one uses Dark Goblin and the cannon to cycle even faster, uh, and it's really cool. Let's get right into the games. All right, guys, let's get into it. So when you play this deck, uh, what you want to do is you want to just kind of spam a lot of bait cards and make sure that you keep your important counters similar to how you kind of play any log bait deck. I'm going to start with the Galvarel. Let's go outside in case they have Tornado. And okay, let's Rocket. We do have the Rocket here. That's why we have it. There's a great thing it's against that Balloon. And okay, um, we've already seen the log. I think I'm going to go Electro Spirit and Dark Goblin here. I want to keep my Dark Goblin rotating in cycle with a Balloon. That's actually very useful. That way, next time he goes Balloon, I'll have my Dark Goblin ready again. And while we're going to take over a thousand damage there, the only reason why I played that is because there's no log. So if he would have had log, he could have punished me very easily there. Let's log the Firecracker on the board, and then of course go for guards. And we should be doing this very nicely. This is very nice for us. I can maybe go for like a Goblin Barrel here too. But I know it's log now, so I'm not too concerned about Tornado. Looks like it's just going to be kind of classic log wave mirror matchup, which is okay for me. Okay. okay that's coming out. I'm going to go for this spot. We're going to hit the uh, Miner and block the princess, and then when the Valk's finished it, we'll go over there and kill the, uh, the princess for me, which is nice. And okay, now I'm going to Goblin Barrel. Tricky, see if he miss misses this. It can be tough to hit this if I time it right. No log at all, and just, okay, this guy's playing on a thousand ping. I, maybe he just doesn't have log back in cycle yet, but I'm, that would be shocking. Hmm, let's see. Dark Goblin. He definitely has log now. I can go E Spirit in the center, just trying to pull everything together, and then of course guards. But Firecracker can be annoying here as well. We'll splash my Dark Goblin a little bit. I'm gonna let this go. There's some damage coming in. Miner's coming in too. I'm gonna go for this Valkyrie now. Try to get as much of this Miner taken care of as I can. Lucky for me, that Firecracker did get targeted by the Tower first, which is very important. That's okay, so that log is not very good. Now I can just go for this, and there's no way to punish me. And I can also Dark Goblin, and it's even harder to punish me. Let's go Electro Spirit, reset the Inferno. That's very important. Keep the tank alive for as long as possible. And okay, now look at this big push. We have it. We have Dark Goblin coming. We're going to get a lot of shots in the tower. Four hits. And okay, I like this spot a lot for me. I'm just going to log here. Okay, he had another nice, nice interaction for himself there. Lumberjack comes down just in time. We need to rocket this, otherwise we're going to take damage. Rocket's coming in. And okay, logging that won't do anything. And again, great solid defense. Uh, this game didn't play very well, but sort of how you play this, it still stands. Like, you want to go for, like, a Valkyrie here, Dark Goblin here, and take out the Princess. And, okay, I really like this. We might even be able to get a 3 crown with Logbait, which is really rare, actually. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm just going to go for a Cannon for Guards. If he goes for a Balloon, I'll, I will Rocket. That's what we have to save it for. Let's go Valkyrie. I already remember, like I said, I already am up a full Tower, which means I can just Log here. Kill the princess. And okay, my game is very simple now. I just Electro Spirit block the Inferno. And uh, my Dark Goblin can clean up the last two Firecrackers. And okay, we win this game. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, next match. That guy wasn't the best balloon player, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's just go for the same spot. Make sure to put it on the edge so it doesn't get tornado too often. It's kind of important to do. Okay, he does have some answers. Okay, if he goes Queen like that, we need to be rocketing that. Queen is obviously very annoying, and I'm sure you guys are all aware of the Queen being obnoxious. You need to make sure to get the rocket comes down on top of these Queens, especially to play them in the back. It's a nice early lead, about 440 damage. Okay, Log uh, might be a thing here, depending on what he does. Okay, sure, he wants to do that. I actually have Valkyrie and Log just for this type of deck. Uh, Rural Hogs is, uh, as I've said many times in recent videos, one of the strongest decks uh, in this season. And uh, it's very nice to keep a Valkyrie just for that reason. It's one of the better cards to have on defense for any, any matchup with Hogs. I'll go Dark Goblin to help with the cannon, and okay, we'll go for a Goblin Barrel here. Let's see what he does. He hasn't shown a log yet. There it is. Wow, delivery and log, very aggressive. I'm not sure that was necessary. Let's go Electric Spirit to distract. We should be fine. Not a bad spot here at all. Okay. But again, Queen is a threat. If he tries to go Queen left, I might even just rocket it like outright. If he goes Hogs, I might rocket that too. He wants to split everything up. Let's go here and actually go Valkyrie. That's probably my best play here. I actually want to log this to stop some of the damage on that side. He did Quake that way, so I want to add some extra defense that side. Uh, otherwise, we'd be taking more damage there. And I'm actually going to go for a tricky tricky uh, barrel this time. See if he misses the log. That might be nice for me. And he does. Nice. Make sure to throw those tricky barrels. Uh, some players will not hit those. And if that happens for you, you might just be able to win a game that you wouldn't be able to win otherwise. We get the well played there. Definitely throw in the Strict Barrels. Let's go for Guards. If he goes Invisibility, we'll go Electro Spirit as well. 
Okay, great. Electro Spirit's coming down. Okay, we will take some shots, but I will go Dark Goblin. Try to pressure. Okay, there it is. Nice. Okay, I might even just go for like a log here. This seems pretty good. We'll just log cycle to get back to... Okay, sure. Every time they do this, you need to get the, this down and then go here. And that way, depending on what they do, if he goes log here... Yeah, he won't miss that time. I probably shouldn't have even gone Electro Spirit there. But now we'll do this. I think I'm expecting maybe Queen. I'm sort of pressuring because his reaction time has been kind of poor so far. <laughs> we should be able to get... Yeah, we did get one shot there. And he actually waits... Uh, uh, delivery. I might even go Rocket here if he goes Pigs. Yeah, there it is. Do pick up two of them, which is actually massive. And I'll go for this Tricky Barrel again. Oh, falls for it twice in one match. Rip, yeah. That's a trick that y'all need to be uh, doing. Especially if you want to win some of these games. Okay, so now the only chance for my opponent to win is if he goes in for picks. So I just go, I just set up this, go, go for this, go for Valkyrie, we can go for an Electro Spirit, we stole everything down. And you will be getting nowhere near my tower. I'm just gonna throw in a log for good measure and then rocket the tower, and okay, this game is very clean. We even hit the, the skellies that were just from the Valkyrie. What a game, guys. Let's go to the next one. Next game. Uh, again, I think I'm just going to start with Barrel. I would recommend this every time. Uh, if you do have the opportunity, I would definitely go Barrel. He does go for Dark Goblin, which is alright. Kind of annoying, but I'm now kind of aware of what's running up against. Dark Goblin and Arrows doesn't match a lot of decks. Let's go for Split Guards. I don't have anything better to play. I probably should just log the Dark Goblin, but I was in the middle of talking. <laughs> um, whatever he does, I might be able to rock it. If he gives me some value in the back. No, he actually goes Magic Archer to the Bridge. It's a solid play. He's trying to chip my tower. I will just log this, it'll take it out. Electro Spirit's good, and maybe I can make another push for its, the tower. Okay, he blocks that. I think it's good for me that he blocked that, because otherwise I think it would have hit the tower. Uh, with, hit the King Tower and activated there, which would have been not nice for me. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That's a perfect thing to be rocketing, especially if they're going to give that to you every time. Definitely take those value shots. Get the Valkyrie. At least hit that one time. Trying to avoid the hits on tower, and we'll go for Gallimero on the back, see if he misses this. We'll see if he even has a counter, which would be nice if he doesn't. Okay, Arrows is down, nice. And we'll go for Electro Spirit to defend, and we should be okay. We won't take any damage from that, I don't believe. Maybe one hit. Nope, don't have no hits at all. Nice, and... Okay, if he goes Dark Goblin, I'm ready for Log. Go here. I think he's gonna go Dark Goblin now. Yeah, there it is, okay. <laughs> yeah, a little bit predictable. He baits my Log out and then goes for the Dark Goblin. Now he has to deal with my guards. Which is fine. And again, I don't think he's going to go Cannon Card in the back this time. He'll definitely change it up somehow. Otherwise, I'll just take another free rocket. But yeah, make sure to take those free rockets, guys. Like, always. If they're going to give you that opportunity. Very important to do that. Um, okay, let's go Valkyrie. I'm guessing this could be just RG, but it seems like a really weird RG deck. But who am I to judge? There we go. Now it's getting frisky. Let's go in like this, block everything as much as possible, log everything. I have to get my troops down, my guards are very critical. There we go. But I'm amazed I took no damage there. I probably deserve to take some damage, but I took pretty much no damage. Only from the only from the uh, the fisherman, which is actually quite good for me, actually, I'd say. And he is back to arrows, of course. I might even be able to pressure. I have a, a short cycle with log bait, so I might be able to pressure. Let's go... Okay, well, don't do that. That just gives me an opportunity to go Valkyrie and Log, and we shut down the entire attack yet again. Dark Goblin's possible. And okay, I can go for a Barrel, depending on how he plays it. That's another shot. And Arrows is in cycle again. Let's try to out-cycle the guy. Let's go Valkyrie over here. And if he goes this way, I will just counter with Guards and Log. One more shot? Okay, I can actually just log this, which is huge. And when you go opposite... Oh. <laughs> Dark Goblin. Okay, let's just go Dark Goblin there, and um, we'll go Goblin Barrel on the back and see if he misses it. This man's arrows are every time he's ready. Every single time he's got them. Okay, this is the rocket. We need to take that. Take the value when you can. Let's go for uh, the Valkyrie. Again, every time they give you the rocket, make sure to hit it, because you need to be hitting those, otherwise you might just fall behind and lose the match, which is not good. Don't want to be losing the match from that. Uh, wow, I actually did let the Cannon Card connect, which is a mistake, and I should go Electro Spirit here. Try to stall as much as possible. I need to start spamming rockets, otherwise I will lose this game. The damage is all on the right side. I did make a mistake there, so I need to come back from what I did wrong. Let's go for Valkyrie. Try to push with guards. Depending on what he does, I may be able to just go Dark Goblin here. Yeah, I will go Dark Goblin here. Try to pressure a little bit more. 
Oh, that was not a good Lumberjack. My 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 uh, Dark Goblin will lock on for two shots there. I need to go Electric Spirit to block this, and we'll also log here. Extra value, and then go for this. Send another Gallon Barrel in. Valk, make sure to hit those Valks. Although, uh, I was a little bit late there, but not too big of a deal. Let's go for a Rocket. I need to try to get Rocket Cycling in. That's my only chance of winning at this point. We have to start spamming Rockets. Or we will drop the game. We don't want to be doing that. Cannon. Make sure you get the cannon down, and also Valkyrie, the magic archer. Okay, as soon as as soon as he uses the arrows, that's when I know I have an opportunity. This is my chance. We need to rocket the Gallon Barrel. Sorry, we need to rocket. The, <laughs> we need to rocket the tower, and also the cannon card. And of course, we can log and win the game. Whew, a bit tight. We get the job done there. Nice. All right, guys. One last match for this video. Um, let's just start with Electro Spirit this time. I don't really. Well, actually, I might be giving away an activation, but let's do it anyway. It doesn't really matter too much with this because we are gonna try to win this game with rocket cycling anyway. Okay, I'm actually going to go here. I don't really have... I, I could go cannon. Uh, it's a little bit more disrespectful to go for a rocket here. You can actually go cannon guards too, but either way, it was going to cost me a lot of elixir to defend. Sometimes you can actually just go cannon log as well. Okay. I will play log. We'll, we'll cycle opposite lanes. And okay, I'll actually probably just go for barrel because I've just seen him use his log. Hopefully he doesn't have anything else, which would be kind of annoying. Okay, fireball's on the board. I'll go Valkyrie this way, because he's trying to make a hog push this way. He's, you can see that he's doing that with the Ice Golem. So we'll go Valkyrie towards it. Okay, let's go for a Dark Goblin as well. Oh, wow. Okay, we're actually going to take out the Muskie for free. That's kind of a joke, because that was lucky. And yeah, that's awesome. It's a, pretty much a perfect interaction for me. Everything went my way. He has to counter my Valk. If he logs it, I can just go Electric Spirit out of the lane. That's, okay, that's fine. We're playing it as well. Let's go here, and we'll do the same Tricky Barrel thing we did last time. I missed one, I think. Actually, he didn't, but I get goblins. Uh, or guards damage, because he got the goblins. <laughs> Let's just go for Electro Spirit here. Not too big of a deal. I, I, I don't think he can activate. He might go Skellies, though. Actually, yeah, he can. He could have Skellies to activate. My brain. Not working right now. Uh, Let's just go Valk. Uh, Hog's always possible. I do have my cannon. That's another reason why we have cannon. It's a lot easier to con compete with these fast cycle decks if you have a cannon, and compared to if you have like uh, some kind of like Inferno Tower or something like that. Sort of why this uh, deck's been growing in popularity recently. It works better against decks with, like, Quake and stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't really know why you played the cannon. I'm actually going to take this opportunity uh, after a bad cannon that only will hit my Valkyrie. I'm just going to go for a rocket, because why not? Let's go here. Fireball comes in uh, for my cannon, maybe. Yeah, I thought, I thought he would do it. We can just Electro Spirit. He did miss, though. Yeah, usually you Fireball the cannon if you have an Elixir lead to try to get your Hog to the tower, but... He didn't do it. Let's go for like let's go for a uh, barrel here. And if he goes skellies, I can log them. But let's actually take the log. We hit the uh, the ice spirit too. And while wow, we're getting a lot of damage here, let's go Valk. I'm expecting a hog. And also in a pinch, if you don't have a cannon cycle, you can also rocket the hog like I did before. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's go electric spirit too. And okay, we'll take this rocket value. Of course, every time, guys. Every time they give you something, uh, if you can afford it, play it. And we just go for gallon barrel as well. Trying to get me as much pressure, like I said, onto the tower as I can. Electric Spirit actually jumped there, which is huge for me. And okay, I'm even gonna. Hmm? Okay, no damage there from the. Oh, but look at the the Dark Goblin hitting them. Wow, everything's going my way here. Nice situation. Let's go for a, a Valkyrie. Okay, I'm just gonna log this and go for guards and barrel. No damage. And okay, I can actually just start rocketing because now this game is completely winning for me. I can just I can just go for rockets whenever I want, basically. All I need to do is have a cannon ready, which I do, and I also can go Electro Spirit. There's the see, see that's the play that you normally want to make when you're playing hog against cannon cycle. You want to fireball the cannon uh, to try to make room for your hog, but I'm ready with my Electro Spirit and my Dark Goblin. We should be alright here. Let's take this log after it gets a little bit closer, push it back and take no damage, which is great, and we'll go for this. He wants to go for another hog, let's block that, and then go for another Dark Goblin, just like before. He probably fireballs, I go for Electro Spirit. Yeah, this is exactly how you normally want to play, but my Dark Goblin is just there and super annoying. Uh, no matter what he does, I can just log and rocket this game to a victory. Let's go rocket and log. It's more than enough, I think. Yeah, it is well more than enough. GG's. Wow, guys, this deck's awesome. All right, you guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate you all making this far. Uh, I don't do too many videos on log bait, but I, I do like this deck a lot. It's a lot of fun, especially with a rocket. It's kind of fun to win those last second games like that. But yeah, make sure to uh, 
leave in the comments any decks you all want to see. Uh, again, that's something I've been missing. So anytime you guys can give me a recommendation, I'm happy to you know look into that and possibly post some videos on that stuff. I'm looking on doing minor rocket cycle tomorrow. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for watching this far. Um, I'm gonna leave you to my link uh, for the last video over there, um, and also the subscription button right here. Make sure to click that as well. I really do appreciate that, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.